video this time it is about this Nokia 6.1 plus Nokia 6.1 plus has recently received Android Pie beta update in India and I have already done a video on that how to download that OTI update so if you haven't downloaded the update yet you can watch that video and you can enjoy Android Pie on your Nokia 6.1 plus but before that if you haven't decided yet whether you should wait for the stable update or whether you can install the beta update you can watch this video and decide in this video I'll be telling you about all the new features that have come to Nokia 6.1 plus with the Android Pie beta update okay is there any bugs you will let you know okay I will let you know actually okay because I've been using this uh, device with Android Pie beta update for almost three to four days now so I have used most of the features and uh, I'm going to tell you everything okay even I'll be telling you about one interesting application that is digital well-being. Unfortunately, Nokia 6.1 Plus hasn't received the application with the update, but you can download it separately and use it and enjoy the feature. So I'll be telling you how to do it. So before we start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button. Okay. So the very first thing that you will observe is the overall user interface design okay the very first thing that you will observe is that the google bar has come to the bottom okay it used to be here at the top next thing is the clock positioning the clock has been moved to the left i believe that the google you know the google has uh, done it to accommodate the notch design that is coming with most of the phones nowadays so that is a minor change next thing is the accent center now it looks different because the icons have changed okay and uh, you can change the theme here how to do that you have to go to display setting then display then advance at the bottom you can see device theme okay so it will actually change the overall theme of your device there are three options first is automatic that is based on your wallpaper that uh, wallpaper you select next is the light option that's next is dark at present right now i have used the dark thing so you can see this application uh, notification center is looking dark okay plus the you know app draw also looking dark okay so it looks different now okay not very significant change okay another thing is there uh, if you go to edit here in accent center you can actually uh, add you know additional things now like this uh, files go option is there so you can keep it here also you can keep the digital well-being application shortcut here so this is grayscale one add two so this is actually related to digital well-being i'll be letting you know uh, you know later okay now the next thing is about gesture Android Pie has brought gesture navigation to Android phones. How does it work? Let me tell you. Okay, it's very simple. You can see here that uh, the traditional, you know, on-screen buttons that we used to see are gone now. You know, at the left, at the, you know, uh, the right, those two buttons are not here. Instead of, instead of those three, I have, you know, we have only one button, that is this one. How does it work? It's very simple. What do you have to do? Just swipe it up and it will show you all the applications which are running at present. Okay. If you swipe it up again, then it will take you to the main app drawer. Okay. If you down it again, so it will take you to the main menu or home screen, I would say. Okay. So swipe it up. It will take you to the applications which are running at present. Okay. If you want to go somewhere, just tap it. It will take you there. Again down it will take you to the home button and uh, home screen next is so it's very simple what you have to do swipe it up again so it will take you to the app drawer down it will take you to the you know applications which are running at present next thing is that what has actually changed 
the way we used to access the split screen okay now let me show you uh, what is the change you can see that for each card there is the you know app icon is there so suppose this is YouTube so you just tap the icon there and you can see the option that is split screen so if you touch it there so it will go to split screen now select any other app suppose this one so now you can see it has been activated the split screen has been activated okay so it's very simple what do you have to do let me show you again like this so this one tap the icon and then you'll get this option split screen and then tap on any other application and both application will be simultaneously on the screen okay it's very simple okay now <clears throat> one thing I would like to tell you here that uh, you know this gesture navigation is a bit clumsy in the beginning because when I started using this uh, I found it a bit clumsy but uh, after I you know uh, one or two days you can get used to it okay but still if you don't like this what you have to do simple go to setting okay then system then gesture okay and there you have this option swipe up on home button you just have to turn this off and you will get those traditional buttons if you don't like the gesture navigation okay but i believe that within two three days you can get used to it it's very simple and you also get a tiny back button here so if you touch it so it will take you to the back window okay tap it again you will go to the home screen okay if you touch it for a while hold it for a while it will take you to the google assistant so it's very simple and i guess now the you know navigation is very intuitive i guess a bit uh, you know different from what we have been actually seeing in android phones for i mean i guess for a lot of years so many years google hasn't changed it but now they have changed it and i guess it will be more intuitive in future okay the next thing is about actually the manual rotation now what you can do you can manually rotate the screen okay what you used to do like we have to sometimes we have to shake the phone like this to change the rotation but what you can do now you can do that manually now but for that what you have to do uh, you have to switch off the auto rotate option here okay I have already done this now let me show you how does it work okay suppose this is the app that you know I want to watch it landscape so there you can see here one option will be activated just tap it and the screen will be rotated okay now if I want to watch it portrait then again the option will be here so touch it now portrait so sometimes it is actually very helpful because sometimes you know the screen rotation doesn't work and then we have to shake the phone like this so that is you can get rid of that uh, you know clumsiness okay so that is something very useful I would say the next thing is about adaptive battery it's really really very important for Nokia 6.1 plus users I must say that because the battery life used to be really poor in case of uh, Nokia 6.1 plus for the heavy users now the feature called adaptive battery has brought certain changes what you have to do go to setting then battery there is this option adaptive battery what you have to do you can see that you know it is actually taking the overall use of battery you know what are the applications are actually using your or draining your battery so that will actually check automatically and accordingly you know it will restrict the apps what you can do go to this list and you can restrict the apps which are actually using your battery or draining your battery in the background so you now it can be done manually so it actually improves the battery life okay and it has improved in case of Nokia 6.1 plus next thing is about adaptive brightness that is also very significant change I would say what you can do go to setting okay then display here you can find this adaptive battery uh, sorry brightness actually it has improved the automatic you know brightness level the way it uh, used to work was really poor you know I had to actually manually adjust the brightness now I don't have to do that 
so because it actually reads the environment and you know the screen brightness will automatically adjust to your environment so that is really good for the Nokia 6.1 plus users okay the next thing is about you know the volume rockers okay here you can see if you touch it that means additional you know screen is there so what you can do you can mute mute option is there you can vibrate or keep the uh, vibration mode on or you can jump on to the main setting of sound okay so you can do that so this is something new I would say okay it is just a minor change you know I don't think it is that useful okay but yes there is a change next thing is that if you hold the power button now you will get another option that is screenshot here you can see that okay so you can take screenshot with the use of this power button and another change that has come now it will let you to edit the you know screenshot that you have taken right like this so you can choose uh, different layouts different themes different effects like this it is also something that has come you know to Android Pi with the Android Pi but I won't say it is very useful it's very simple okay minor change next thing is about power you know AI powered notification okay if you observe that you know if you swipe up there are certain notifications that will appear in the main app drawer it is actually the system is actually you know observing your activity what are the activity that you're doing frequently and suppose if you're calling someone frequently so it will read you and it will show you those numbers those applications that you run quite frequently so as uh, I can even see here I've dialed two or three of my friends frequently so that number is mentioned you know showing here so this is something that is AI powered notification I would say okay the next thing is about which I was saying which is very very interesting feature that is the digital well-being okay this is something will be very helpful for the smartphone users okay but unfortunately this Nokia 6.1 plus that uh, hasn't received the application with the update but what you can do it's very simple go to Google and just type digital well-being okay now it will show you that uh, this better link will be there what do you have to do just sign in there and it will show you the application because I have already installed that so it will take you will take me to the application but in your case what will happen it will ask you to sign in for the better program you just have to sign in and then you can download that okay so the way you uh, you know sign in for the better program for the Android Pie update similarly you have to do that so that after that you can download that application and let me show you where is it actually go to setting then you can see here digital well-being why it is very interesting now you can control a lot of things manually okay now you can watch and track how many hours are being actually spent on what okay now you can see that I have spent almost 5 hours 31 minutes in overall activities with the phone okay now it will let you know with which app actually well, suppose it is showing that on YouTube I spent almost two hours okay Chrome 46 minutes are the YouTube studio 36 minutes so you can see that where are you actually spending your time okay and you can control your activity also this will help you okay and certain things that you can restrict just tap in there and you can set the timing here let me show you that okay so if you set a time here okay after that that app will stop you cannot actually you know uh, use it anymore but you can actually manually again uh, activate that that is a different thing but you can set a time that today I can spend only 30 minutes on YouTube so you can set the timer here okay so that will help you to waste you know the way we waste our time on YouTube or any other things okay so this will help you to save your time and engage yourself on more productive work okay the next thing is there uh, the notification sometimes notifications are very irritating right so what you can do you can set the timing also that you don't want to get any kind of notification related to particular 
applications suppose uh, if you don't want to get group messages notification or whatsapp so you can set the time and it will not be shown again after that particular time okay so you can restrict notifications also another thing you can control your sleep hours also this is something called wing down okay so here you can set the time when you will go to sleep and when you will wake up okay so during that time this whole screen will turn into gray okay so then you will come to know that okay this is time for me to go to sleep so these are the things that will help us to actually use our phone more productively and uh, not to waste more time on here you know on smartphones so that is something very helpful for the smartphone users so i believe that this will help us to control uh, the time that we spend on smartphones okay so i believe you can use it and you can have the benefit okay so now what are the bugs actually now i would say that you know i haven't come across any bugs yet even i have actually come across certain improvements in terms of battery okay in terms of this adaptive battery uh, adaptive brightness it has actually improved a lot okay and the adaptive battery that i was talking about it has improved the battery life also in case of Nokia 6.1 plus okay so I haven't come across any you know major bugs okay only one thing that I would tell you here is that this gesture you know by sliding this you know it is not working that well even I have observed this in case of Nokia 7 plus okay so I believe that uh, Nokia uh, you know Google may address it and it will be more responsive okay and it will be more intuitive okay so in terms of bugs I haven't come across any bugs okay except this thing okay next thing is about should you wait for the stable update or you can download it obviously you can download it because the reason behind is that this uh, beta update is not preview developer preview actually the preview that is developer preview comes with a lot of bugs but the beta update or beta build comes with less bugs or minor bugs but in case of Nokia 6.1 plus it hasn't come with any major bugs okay so you can easily install the beta update on your daily you know whatever you can say daily use or you can say that your prime device okay or you can say primary device you can install the update and you can use it for your daily use okay so to not a problem so i believe that uh, i have covered all the features all the things and uh, i believe that uh, those who want to actually install the date you can go ahead there is no problem okay and i believe that i have already given you all the new features explain the new features so that you can use it okay and i've already to i've already tell, told you that how to get the digital well-being and i must say that if you have decided to download the you know the android pi update in, then you must get the digital well-being application that is really helpful i would say so i believe that you like this video and if you have liked this video then please subscribe to my channel and help me to build my channel and for more videos on nokia smartphones follow my channel thank you cheers